That's upside down. Well, that's the way we're going. Oh, yeah. At least with Neela's push pilot skills, they won't get lost. The prey slow down. They've been flat out running for almost an hour. But so have the trackers. And they're closing in. I'm still feeling them. The hair at the back of my neck. Now let's go. Let's grab this log here. Just slow them down a bit. Should we move it over that way? They go for a stall tactic, just in case. Basically, just cover the... Excellent. There. Very cool. Oh, there's horses. Let's go. There they go. Well, we have to get out of his view. Yeah. Man Tracker kicks it into high gear. The roadblock is not an obstacle. But the prey have just enough of a lead to get out of sight and escape up a steep slope. It's really crackly in here. We should be able to hear them walking through the bush if they're coming this way. We won't move before they have passed us. So they missed our tracks while we, while we left the trail. Taking advantage of the noise from a plane flying overhead, the prey leave their hiding spot. But they're still spooked and stick to the bush. Well, the weather changed on us about uh, half an hour ago. Um, it is good for us as far as it, our tracks get washed out. Um, for me personally, it's getting a little uncomfortable, like my hair is soaked and my shoes are wet. It's a mixed blessing for the trackers as well. Help or hindrance? It depends on how long it rains and how hard. Well, so much for the rain hiding our tracks. As we step on the wet stuff, it brings the dry stuff up to the surface and makes these really bright patches on the ground. So I think we have to stay off the trail. Unfortunately, bushwhacking is a lot more work. Looks like we got some tracks right here. What we have here is a, a toe kick from a person walking. And what it tells us is the person has walked through here after it has rained. That's why we get the white color in the sand. They've disturbed the top wet layer. So it, it basically gives us a timeline that we're probably 15 to 20 minutes behind them. A 20 minute lead isn't much when you're being pursued by a horse especially when the prey aren't running. Man Tracker races to close in for the kill. Mike and Neela are oblivious to the danger. But the hunters know their window of opportunity is limited. They have to move fast while the prey are still on the trail. There they are. 